There's always time to sort it out, isn't there? Even if you missed each milestone of shopping. All right, let's talk about that most accurate forecast. Today might be the day that you want to stay indoors, maybe do some of that online shopping. We're already starting off cloudy statewide. We even have some snow showers in the far northern portion of our state in the higher elevations. As we move through the day, though, those rain chances will increase across the valley and southern Arizona. Right now, because of the cloud cover, it hasn't helped temperatures much up north. We're still in the 20s this morning in Flagstaff and at the Grand Canyon. Page is in the upper 30s where those snow showers are falling. But we're in the 40s in Heber and Sholo as well as Sedona and Payson. Prescott's still down into the 30s this morning. 50s, though, out to our west and a lot of 50s to our south in Ajo and Tucson this morning. Phoenix Metro sitting at 51 degrees. Our warm-up today will be relatively mild. We're going to stay on the cooler side. We're not going to have much of a warm-up. Staying in the upper 60s today in the valley, 50s in Casa Grande, Safford warming to 62 today. We'll make it to 59 in Payson and hit those 60s in Prescott and Sedona. Out to the northwest will be in the 70s and north of the rim today. We're staying in the 50s, 52 in Flagstaff, 56 in Sholo. If you're up in Flagstaff and you want to hit up Snow Bowl, they've got a decent base right now, 24 inches. They've gotten some snow uh, over the last couple of weeks and they're also making snow. Four lifts are now open, eight trails. going to be chilly up there today though 39 degrees on the mountain it's also going to be windy when we're talking about those winds picking up right around noon in areas like Flagstaff Prescott and Heber as well as Sholo 15 to 20 mile an hour winds and the gusts could reach around 25 miles an hour and that includes up on the mountain so be mindful of that the breezes die down in the early evening hours and then tomorrow we see those winds pick up again in the northwest corner of our state including areas of the Grand Canyon and Kingman around 15 mile an hour winds. Winds will stay calm here in the valley, but we're looking at rain chances. So Futurecast shows us all that cloud cover that's moved in. And then right after noon, we start seeing the rain approach from the south. So areas like Tucson and south of the valley. And then we move those rain chances into the valley right around five o'clock this evening. Scattered showers as this is a pretty big band of moisture here that's going to push through the valley. Then in the overnight hours and into tomorrow, it becomes more spotty through lunchtime. Passes on by the evening. And then on Tuesday, another low pressure system and disturbance moves in, bringing those rain chances back to the valley. But this time we'll also see some snow mixed in in the higher elevations up north and to our east. More snow through Wednesday up north, but drying out here in the valley and then our state drying out by the end of the week. So as we're talking about rain for today here in the valley, we could get up to two tenths of an inch. We could see a quarter to a half inch of rain in areas like Globe and down near Tucson. Uh, a half inch to a full inch of rain is possible by the end of the evening. Across the East Valley, highs in the upper 60s today, 67 in Scottsdale, Tempe and Gilbert, 60. 9 in Fountain Hills, West Valley 67 in Peoria, Avondale and Luke Air Force Base. We're in the 50s through about 9, then we're in the 60s by 10. That's where we stay and you see those rain chances moving in in the later portion of the afternoon. 70s tomorrow and Monday, then we're back in the 60s Tuesday with that second storm system moving in and up north 50s for the weekend, then 40s by Monday and even the 30s by Wednesday with those snow chances in Flagstaff.